In the vast, moody embrace of the Atlantic, mysteries dance with legends. But during the maelstrom of World War II, beneath those capricious waves, a new enigma lurked. Stealthy, menacing, and oh so close to American shores, German U-boats played a high-stakes game of hide-and-seek. Ready for a deep dive into this submerged cat-and-mouse tale? Hold your breath. We're about to plunge into the world of underwater warfare. Number 1. The Atlantic Playground In the vastness of the Atlantic Ocean, the gentle waves frolic like mischievous children under a golden sun, carrying whispers of bygone days. But during World War II, this seemingly calm playground hid a secret. Beneath the tranquil surface, shadows moved with predatory grace, their dark outlines contrasting starkly against the sun-dappled waters above. These were not just any shadows, they were the German U-boats, lurking like sea monsters from ancient mariner tales. Imagine for a moment, the surprise of the ships sailing above, confident in the vast open expanse, only to be preyed upon by these silent hunters from the depths. The Atlantic, with its serene vistas, had become the world's most dangerous game of hide-and-seek, where the stakes were not just a playful win, but life and nationhood. Welcome to the playground. Watch your step. The game has begun. Number 2. The Wolfpack Strategy The deep blue Atlantic, often pictured as an idyllic expanse of beauty, had a shadowy secret beneath its waves. Picture this, a lone ship chugging its way through the waters, confident and proud, completely unaware of the lurking predators below. Enter the German U-boats, the maritime version of wolves on a hunt. Now, a lone U-boat was dangerous, no doubt, but the Germans had a trick up their sleeve that amplified the terror tenfold, the Wolfpack strategy. One might wonder, why is it called the Wolfpack? Well, much like the cunning wolves of the tundras, these submarines didn't hunt alone. Oh no, they hunted in packs. Imagine being in a dark forest. You see a wolf, and just when you think you've gauged the threat, you hear the synchronized howling of its pack surrounding you. Similarly, a ship would often spot one submarine, and before it could raise the alarm or take evasive action, multiple U-boats would converge, ready for the kill. These underwater predators had a deviously clever communication system. One would spot a convoy and relay the coordinates, and just like a dinner bell to famished beasts, other U-boats would hurry over, and they'd all close in on their prey, synchronized and relentless. The Atlantic wasn't just waters and ships anymore. It was a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, where the mice often found themselves outwitted by an underwater pack of prowling wolves. Number 3. America's Unwelcomed Guests Amidst the shimmering coastlines of the U.S., where families enjoyed beach picnics and children built sandcastles, a nefarious game of hide-and-seek was underway. Can you picture it? Sleek, metallic monsters of the deep. U-boats, lurking, prowling, and waiting for their moment. While Uncle Sam's shores bustled with wartime fervor, ships gliding out of ports were like delicious treats on a conveyor belt. Laden with precious supplies, bound for distant European allies, they sailed under the assumption of safety. Oh, but assumptions can be so delightfully wrong. In a cheeky twist of audacity, the German U-boats began to strike. Before the Stars and Stripes had even officially waved the war flag, these submarines had marked their targets. Picture a ship captain peering into the horizon with his trusty binoculars, only to witness a torpedo hurtling toward him. A sight most unwelcome to say the least. The public gasped, the Navy scrambled, and newspapers raced to print the latest submarine scandal. German subs at our doorstep, they screamed. It was the ultimate maritime drama, an oceanic tango of chase and retreat, right in America's very own watery backyard. Number 4. Operation Drumbeat A dance too close for comfort. Imagine for a moment, a daring underwater ballet. The stage, the vast Atlantic, just a whisper away from America's bustling shorelines. Enter our main dancers, sleek, stealthy German U-boats, executing a choreography dubbed Operation Drumbeat. Their aim? To pirouette and pounce upon unsuspecting vessels with torpedoed precision. These U-boats had audacity that would rival the boldest Broadway stars. With the spotlight of the moon, they'd surface so close to the American shores, it felt like they were crashing the nation's exclusive seaside party. And crash they did. Famous cityscapes, like New York's iconic skyline, became mere backdrops to their dramatic performances. But the audience? They were far from entertained. Beachgoers, perhaps hoping to spot dolphins or whales, instead witnessed the fiery spectacle of sinking ships. 
nighttime fishermen told tales of ominous submarine shadows appearing and disappearing under the silvery sheen of the ocean. This underwater waltz was a dangerous dance, where the U-boats took the lead. America, caught off guard, was still searching for its rhythm. Yet as any good story goes, every dance has its twist, and America's countermove was on the horizon. Number 5. America's Wily Countermove As the U-boats prowled, America, with her usual gumption, decided she wasn't going to stand idly by. Uncle Sam rolled up his sleeves, revealing an array of tricks hidden beneath the stars and stripes. The harbors, once echoing with uneasy whispers of lurking U-boats, soon buzzed with a different kind of energy. The convoy system, not a new dance step, though it sure sounded like one, was introduced. Ships, like a gaggle of ducklings, began moving together, shielded by naval escorts, turning the vast sea into a choreographed waltz of war. Any wolf pack thinking of disrupting this dance had another thing coming. Then there was the aerial ballet above. Silver-winged aircraft, guardians of the skies, took to the air, their eyes sharpened for any glint of a periscope. These airborne scouts weren't just for show. They brought with them a rain of fury, making any U-boat think twice before poking its head up. While some may have smirked at America's initial naivete, it wasn't long before the tables started to turn. The U-boats, once the Atlantic's sly foxes, now found themselves outfoxed by a nation determined to protect its own. Number 6. Turning Tides The Atlantic in 1943 was not the same playground it used to be for the German U-boats. Picture this. Once fearless submarines, sleek and stealthy, now found themselves playing an unintended game of cat and mouse. Only this time, they weren't always the cat. The Americans, once seemingly easy prey, had transformed the game. Their response was a well-orchestrated dance of air patrols that swarmed the skies, eyes peeled for any hint of a periscope breaking the water's surface. And when they found one? Let's just say the U-boats had a fireworks display they hadn't bargained for. Down below, the waters buzzed, not with U-boat radio signals, but with the hum of newly devised sonar systems and anti-submarine measures. The once invincible wolf packs were now being hunted, their deadly game of surprise turning into desperate evasion. And oh, how the mighty had fallen. Many a U-boat that ventured too close found itself ensnared, with its crew captured, or worse, resting forever on the ocean floor. America's naval might was on the rise, and the Atlantic narrative was getting a twist. The predators were becoming the prey, and the once quiet coastline bristled with defense, ready to challenge any lurking shadow beneath the waves. Number 7. Reflections from the Deep as the tides of the Atlantic whisper stories of yesteryears, one can't help but chuckle at the audaciousness of it all. Picture this, menacing U-boats, sneaking like naughty children, trying to steal cookies from right under America's nose. Oh, the drama, the suspense. The vast ocean, traditionally a playground for dolphins and sailors, transformed into a chessboard where nations played their deadly games. But what's a game without a twist? The US, once caught napping, sprung to action, pushing these underwater rascals away. Warfare is indeed a dance, a waltz of strategy, surprise, and resilience. In the end, the Atlantic, with all its depth and mysteries, became both a witness and a storyteller. And as we look into its waves, we're reminded of the delicate balance of power and the lengths we go to, all for that tantalizing game of cat and mouse. In the game of war, the ocean's depths hid chess pieces most cunning, the U-boats. Yet, like every grand tale, the tides of time ebbed and flowed, dictating winners and strategies. As our journey across history's waves concludes, remember, beneath every tranquil sea might just lurk stories untold, awaiting curious souls to dive deep, until our next splash 